Have you ever wanted to carve one of those awesome jack-o'-lanterns that looks like somebody's face? Well, let me show you how you can convert just about any photo into a pumpkin stencil using Corel Paint Shop Pro. First of all, you're going to need an image of a face. In my experience, the funnier and the more expressive, the better. You're going to want to convert the image to black and white. To do this, I'll go up to Effects, Photo Effects, and Black and White. You can adjust these settings as you see fit, but basically you need to do this to really bump up the contrast. You can do this in a number of ways, so first I'll adjust the settings here and make this image slightly darker. Next I'll click here and choose Local Tone Mapping and try to make the image a little bit sharper and more bold. Again, ignore the numbers here, they're going to be different depending on the image. Basically you just want to boost the clarity and the lines and the shadows of the face so that they really pop. The next thing I'm going to do is to create an extreme contrast. To do this, I'll go to the Adjust menu, select Brightness and Contrast, and then Levels. Click on the Levels button, and then drag these sliders until you have high contrast that looks good on your image. You really want to just blow out the lights and the darks, and there's no easy way to do it. You just adjust and readjust until it looks something like this, and then click OK. Now we're ready to convert it into a stencil. To do that, just go back to the Adjust menu, Brightness and Contrast again, and then click on Threshold right at the bottom there. Again, the slider will determine the intensity of the contrast, so just pull it to the left or the right until it looks correct to you, and then click OK. Now if you're going to be projecting the image onto the pumpkin, or using a carbon paper or even a transfer, you're going to want this part of the image that you're going to be cutting out to be in black. Right now it's the opposite, so what we need to do is get the negative version of this picture. To do that, go back to Image, and select Negative Image, and presto, there it is. Depending on the precision of your carving tools, the pumpkin should end up looking something like this. Thank you for watching, and have a very happy Halloween. And as always, visit learn.corel.com for tons of video and written tutorials, contests, tips, ebooks, and more.